All right, y'all. Welcome to another cooking adventure. I'm Jeff. And I got some help today. Uh, his name is uh, Simon. Say hi to him, Simon. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, tell them what we're doing today. We're doing a shrimp, uh, shrimp boil. We got some Chesapeake uh, blue crabs shipped down here from Maryland. So we're gonna uh, steam those up today too. All right. Well, first thing we got to do, y'all, is we've got to fill this up with some water. So I'll turn it on if you want to hold it there, son. This up. Uh, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Uh, but we'll get back as soon as we get this ready to go. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna hook this uh, fryer up here for y'all that don't know how to do that. You turn this clockwise. Try not to cross thread it. Okay. Now, we're gonna try to start this thing up. Let's see here. in there uh, be back in a minute y'all stay tuned watch this shrimp boil get started Start boil. this is uh, recommended for about four pounds of shrimp but since we're doing eight pounds in here we're gonna do a mixture of this and we got some various other uh, Cajun seasonings we got some slap your mom Cajun seasoning uh, and then the uh, the only uh, Old Bay you can find in Tennessee uh, at least at my Kroger is this Chesapeake Bay seasoning so we're gonna do a mixture of that in there, uh, so we got enough flavor to get these things going. And we got four bags of the jumbo, jumbo shrimp, devein, tail on, and we're leaving it all together, and we're just dumping it in there. All right, well, we're going to get to uh, cracking here, so uh, whenever you're ready. All right. Off, we got some uh, five half lemons. We got the seasoning in there, so we're gonna squeeze some lemon juice in there and drop our lemons. So uh, we got five of these. Then when we get all these in there, uh, we got five half onions. We're gonna drop in five half onions in there, and then we got a bunch of garlic. So we're gonna drop in, I'd say probably ten cloves of garlic in there. That's all for the flavor. We're gonna let that get up to boil, uh, and then when that's done boiling, then we can start adding some of our other ingredients. So. Potatoes are gonna take the longest, followed by the corn, and then the shrimp, and then we got some Cajun sausage here, all cut up in chunks. This is pre-cooked, so we just need to get it boiling, but that's gonna add uh, some of the fat and a lot of good flavor. Uh, it's a mild mild heat, but it's gonna add a lot of good flavor to this shrimp. Now this is a shrimp bowl, y'all. We do have crabs, and I don't know if we're gonna include the crabs on this video, or it'll be a separate one, but uh, we're gonna do one on the crabs too. All right, we're gonna get this uh, up to a boil and start throwing everything in there. Be back in a minute, y'all. All right, y'all. We got uh, five bags of red skin potatoes. We're gonna cut these up. We got our uh, pot up to a boil now. We're about, about ready, so we're getting these ready to go in there. We're gonna give the uh, potatoes and the corn about a 10 minute head start because they're gonna take the longest to cook. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna finish it up with the, the shrimp and the sausage. So you can 
can see we're starting to get some nice bubbles there. We got a season up nicely. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the next step. So we'll, uh, we'll start throwing these on in there. Simon, what do those onions feel like? Are they starting to get a little bit soft? Or are they still, are they still pretty tough? No, those onions are starting to loosen up. We're seeing uh, uh, jolly fingers starting to soften up. We've been, uh, we started with about, uh, actually it's probably about 30 minutes ago when we lit this up. So it's been 30 minutes. And I've got this turned all the way pretty much as hot as it'll go. But we know when we add the shrimp over here, that's still got some ice on it, that ain't completely thawed out, that's going to bring the uh, temperature down in the water. So, anyway, here we go. All right. Now, corn, we're going to, what do you want to do now, Simon? Are we going to put corn and stuff in it, or yeah. are we going to give this a few minutes give to boil? Give it a few minutes, we'll throw the corn. All right, we'll be back in a minute, y'all, to uh, go to our next process. Now it's time. We're going to put the corn in there. There we go. There's the corn. All right. We're going to just set them nice in there. All right. Nice we're going to add that corn, and uh, and then we're going to add the, uh, well, so I'm going to tell you what we, we're, we're going to add next. But we're going to give this corn time to boil, and we'll be back in a minute, y'all, to... Uh, wrap this up hey if you've not subscribed please subscribe to my channel uh, we do a cook it adventure every weekend we don't know what it might be uh, like I said it's a, it's a different adventure every weekend please subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll be back in a minute y'all we got this uh, Cajun andouille sausage here we can get it at Walmart Kroger uh, you can get it really hot this is the medium uh, but you can see there's a good amount of fat content in there that's just going to be flavor added to the shrimp oil. Uh, so we're, we got three packs of that. We're going to go ahead and dump this in. It's already cooked, so it doesn't need to be in there for any specific amount of time. But it's just going to add a bunch of flavor for us. So we're going to go ahead and just drop this right in there. Oh, lost one. This is second to last step. Last step is going to be the shrimp. And then we're, we're going to let that cook and we'll be good to go. Thanks, guys. Tell them what we got. All right, guys. We got a half bushel here uh, from Carmen's in Maryland. This is a half bushel of male large uh, Chesapeake Bay blue crabs. We ordered these pre-steamed. Uh, you can get them shipped to you live. We wanted to get them pre-cooked just because you, you don't lose any this way. Uh, otherwise, you can expect about 15% dead loss from crabs dying in transport. So we went ahead and got them pre-steamed. Uh, so all we have to do for these is about steam them and heat them up. It's going to take about five minutes. So what we got here, we got a little pan in the bottom just to keep them off the bottom. And we're going to lay them around here, add a little beer, a little seasoning in there, and steam those up, and they'll be reheated and ready to go in about five minutes. All right, and something else, y'all, but... Simon tell you about when he ordered these now they come FedEx and they come with these little frozen cooler packs here all down around the shrimp in this cooler right here this styrofoam cooler which hey you could use again if you needed to it's still in good shape but it come in a box around the cooler so I mean what's this place called again Simon? This is from Carmen's? Yeah. Car Department. We'll leave that in the uh, description below, y'all, uh, uh, because uh, we're, we're pretty uh, happy with uh, how these came. So, yep, yep. Uh, anyway, we're going to place these all down in here, and then uh, it gets these all prepped and ready, and then uh, we'll be back in uh, just a few when we get ready to throw these on there and uh, finish up and put the uh, shrimp in the... Uh, boiler right there. Be back in a minute, y'all. Stay tuned. Try the potato here. 
Uh, we're done. We got our bow in. Pretty good here. We're going to throw the jumbo shrimp. Tell them once again what, them, what kind of shrimp them are. So we got them. easy peel, D veins. They got no head, tail on, jumbo shrimp. These are raw. Get them at Walmart, wherever. They're two pounds a bag. We got four bags of these. Okay, and also they still there. There's nothing been done to these shrimp unless, like before, I showed y'all. The back has been split and they pulled the vein out. That's what we call deveining. But the shell's still on them, and they're getting four pounds. Of When the shrimp's done, we'll throw the crab right on there and it's all done together pretty close to the same time. All right, be back to meet y'all. It's been uh, 15 minutes on the shrimp down in there in the bowl. So we got to come off, we got to bring them off here. So uh, let me grab my mittens and we'll pull it off. So you can do this with a basket, but we had so much shrimp and other stuff that we couldn't have fit them in a basket. So we're going to just scoop these out one scoop at a time and lay them out on the table ready to go as soon as uh, as soon as we can. So uh, let's let's cover them right now because if we throw them out there on the table, yep. we're probably probably gonna get some flies but we're gonna put these on here y'all and uh, we'll try to get these steaming all we're wanting to do is steam them. it should take about five minutes once that once that beer and that liquid in there gets rolling all right all right y'all we're uh we're pulling this out and we're putting it in this separate uh, pan right here but it's looking good all right, we're going to finish dipping this out, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Male Maryland blue crabs. You can see here, this I can tell it's a male. It's got this little piece right here. So what you're going to want to do is get under that if you can. Now I'm not going to be able to do it for y'all. You get a little hot here. You basically just get right under that piece right there and you peel this back once you get this piece peeled back you can get your thumb right underneath the shell right here and that whole top piece just pops right off then you clean out this part right here you don't really want to eat all this on the inside so you clean this out right here just like that now once you get that top shell off this thing just snaps right in half you just go just like this and oh See if I can get her right in half, just like that. Now that's all the body meat on the inside and it's connected to the legs. So you should just be able to twist the legs right out and pull some of that meat right out with it. But you can pick at the body, pick at the, at the uh, claws and you'll break it both ways and try to pull out some lump meat right there. Got a little butter sauce, just like that. And that's how you do it. Maryland blue crabs right there. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.